Okay, here's the steel work. Yeah, it's taken a, a good month to work out all the steel sizes and the amount of steel that we needed to get in. Um, never having done it before, we found that it's actually very, very complicated if you want to get it right. So we had our steel bought up from Perth on a truck. Um, it was a single truck. We were going to go get it ourselves, but the um, um, it was cost factors and time factors, so we actually had it delivered. So what you're looking at now is the, the first truss. So this, is, this, this first truss um, we are using as a template to make the rest of the trusses. So this is the first truss here. This truss um, being the template, we're going to hide in one of the walls. Um, because we're going to um, we're going to obviously have weld splatter on it, um, drill holes in it, um, so it's not going to be the tidiest truss, and we want to be able to see the trusses in the hallway. So what's taking the time is um, cutting these angles. Um, when it comes to welding, the closer the cut of the angles the better chance of getting a decent weld. Also, the weld um, doesn't have to be so big. And if you have a big weld, you can end up um, warping warping the steel, which we really don't want. We want dead flat trusses. So, take you outside. This is, the, this is what we've spent our Easter doing. We've been cutting all these sizes uh, up and then these guys here so we've got them nearly all completely cut we started doing some welding here and um, I've got a great welder but the power source because we're on a um, you can see that's our solar system the um, the solar system can keep up with the welding. It's a it's a great solar system, but um, we were we were worried that we were going to overwork the overwork the solar system. So we went to our generator, and our generator is um, only a six kVA, and the welds actually came out really unsatisfactory. So fortunately, um, we made a good friend in town, Russell. He's um, he's allowing us to use his workshop and his three phase welder. So we've got to cut everything up load it onto trailers and then just take it down to um, his fabrication workshop um, where he'll let us um, use his welder. He's a good guy. So um, we got donated this um, saw, power hack saw. It needed a few repairs done on it, one of them being the water supply, I should say water supply, lubricant supply. It's a um, water-based oil. That, you, um, that you've got to run on the blade, as Sean is setting up now. Um, and that pump was stuffed. We got a pump out of an old washing machine, um, adapted it, so now we've got a, a really good method of cutting. So Sean is just gonna fire it up. If you've never seen one of these before, I'll give you a bit of a look. Slow process, but it cuts it cuts really good angles. So uh, that's where we are at the moment. Next stage should be putting steel up. Cheers. 